Welcome to another video of Tableau Do It Yourself Exercises by Bharti DW Consultancy. In this video, we are going to talk about histograms using bins. So, as in the previous videos, you can reuse the data connection from the video number one of this series. Now what is histogram? Histogram is a graph which consists of columns whose area is proportional to the frequency of a variable or values of a column and whose width is equal to, to the class interval. So this is more of a bookish statement. So histogram is a graph which basically tells you what is the frequency of occurrence of a column and it's divided into subcategories known as bins. I repeat, histogram is basically a representation of a column values which is depending on the frequency of the value. For example, um, if, a, if a person scores in three subjects 99, 98 and 88 respectively I repeat 99 98 and 88 then the bins would be created with 10 interval each so 1 to 10 would be one bin 11 to 20 21 to 30 so on and so forth 81 to 90 and 91 to 100 so there are two subject where marks falls into bin number 91 to 100 and then the 88th mark the the mark 88 is falling into the bin 81 to 90 so there would be two bins which has values 91 to 100 two values and 81 to 90 one value so i hope it helps if not we're going to talk about this in this video how you can create it and uh, we'll we'll try to explain it more For creating histogram, we will see how to create this. Create bins. Open the saved TV, TWB file and use the data connection from video number one. Go to a new sheet and rename it as DIY bit 6. So I'm going to rename it as DIY with 6. Perfect. So to create bins for sales cost, right click on the sales cost measure and say create bins. Now set the bin sizes as 50. You can set it as per what you want or what, whatever the requirement is. So let's do it. Bins for sales cost and we're going to talk about bin size as 50. So say sales cost, right click create bins repeating again right click create bins here you can see it's sales cost bin and if you click on this suggest bin size it's going to suggest you bin size which is 155 but I want to create just a bin size of 50 as I discussed I can change it you can you can keep whatever fits your data and I'm going to click on OK. So remember, even though we created a bin for a measure, it appears in the dimensions because now it's an interval, interval of 50. So 1 to 50, 51 to 100, 101 to 151 and so 150 and so on and so forth. drag and drop the bin created in the previous step to the columns shelf let's do that so we created the sales cost bin and i'm going to drag and drop it to the columns shelf next drag and drop the sales cost measure to the row shelf please remember that the sales cost bin was based on sales cost measure 
so sales cost I'm gonna drag and drop in the rows shell there you go you can see that the size is 1 to 50 100 150 these are the intervals ranging up to 1500 but if you look at this bin which is 1000 to 1050 this is the maximum frequency which is 14200 in a collection of all that's how it shows you we have to change the property let's do that so change the aggregation property of sales cost to column so sorry to count so I'm gonna go here measure and say count I repeat in this in this sum of sales cost which is a measure I'm gonna go here go to this property and change it to count there you go now it displays correct on the hundred there are 14 values of sales cost which are between 1000 and 1050 there are 10 values of sales cost between 100 to 150 makes sense right next drag and drop the country dimension to the color so whenever I say country I mean customer country so drag and drop the customer country in the color and there you go how intuitive it becomes so in UK cost sales cost 100 and 150 there are four instances of that versus in India the count is again four but in US it's just two so that's how you would do an analysis on the data set drag the sales cost in the labels let's do that so sales cost in the labels and it tells you the amount so two sales cost in this US region and it's 200 there you go it's so intuitive and it's so powerful too the click view is it's really really impressive so time for some hands-on exercises feel free to pause the video now and get ready with your tableau desktop tool and your exercises are coming in now exercise number 11 do it yourself 11 add a new sheet and create bins for sales amount size 100 and then drag these bins to the column shell add sales amount in the column shell should be row shell I'm sorry and change the aggregation property to count add channel type in the row shells mark and add department to the color area that's your do-it-yourself exercise number 11 feel free to pause here and then coming up your next DIY 12 exercise in this you would add a new sheet create bins for sales quantity size 10 and then drag these bins to the column shelf and sales quantity in the row shelf so change the aggregation property to count add item category in the row shelf pay type to the color area and sales quantity to the label area if you can do these two hands-on exercises both of them are here you are good for histograms also you would find this text in the comment section of the video thank you